Uh, thanks for coming, guys. I thought our kids were very, re very resilient. Uh, we were not happy at all uh, with our last effort here on our home court. Our fans have been so great uh, to us all year, and we wanted to come out and be really, really gritty defensively and tough and help each other and talk. Uh, I think our minds are in a really good spot, you know, with the young team when you can get a win on the road. Uh, that really helped us coming into this game. Uh, so I thought their minds and hearts were at a really good place. Um, you know, I have great admiration for Greg Campy. He's always been really good to me, uh, even at my time at West Virginia. You know, we played those guys a couple times. Uh, I teased him before the game. I said, I was going to get you a blazer with 600 on it, but I didn't want you to get it uh, on me. Uh, but you got to give our kids credit. Uh, they, they execute exactly like I drew it up. We wanted to bobble the ball. We wanted to shoot it from 15. We want to get an offensive rebound with no time on the clock and, and make the game winner. Uh, so it was a great win. I'm happy for our kids. Yeah, I mean, to hold Kendrick, um, to me, the biggest stat here that sticks out, there's a couple. He only, he only attempted 14 shots. So when you're the second leading scorer in the country, you're going to get shots. We knew he was going to get a high volume of shots, but he did such a good job denying Kendrick on the floor uh, that his shot attempts were down. Um, the, the kid is just, he does everything you ask of him. Uh, he's what a student athlete. Uh, he's what hopefully my two daughters one day will marry. Uh, he's just a fine young man, good kid, great family. Um, and, and it's just ironic that the guy that played the best defense the entire game goes and makes the winning basket. You know, it, it's sometimes the basketball gods up there look down on you, and they reward hard work. And, and I'm glad they did. And I went over to Campy and shook his hand. I said, do you think it went in? He goes, yeah, it went in. I didn't think it did. Um, and then our kids, you know, of course, celebrated. And, you know, I went over to all their kids because, you know, Martez Walker went down this week, and that's very difficult. Uh, you don't want to see any college player end their career on an injury. You know, we, we've dealt with this all year with Cisco, and it's very, very hard. On the other players, it's certainly hard on that individual player, um, and that's, that's just a really good, fine team, and we're happy to get the win. Yeah, Cam uh, – Cam wasn't dealt a great hand this year as far as, uh, you know, help handling the ball. So Cam does a lot of our ball handling, something he's not used to. But obviously you can see his decision-making is getting better and better. I think he has 54 assists and 27 turnovers or something like that on the year. Uh, I brought him in my office yesterday and I said, Cam, it's going to help you down the line when you try to play overseas because they want playmakers, not just shooters. Uh, and I think this year that's went a long way for his overall game. Um, you know, he's finding his groove at the right time. But that's what seniors do. Uh, seniors step up. They know tournament time's right around the corner. Uh, so hopefully, you know, on Friday night we can pack this place. I, I thought our crowd was awesome. Uh, you know, I got a little fired up on, on the technical, and, and I just told our kids, we, we got to be the aggressors. You know, we weren't aggressive at, at that point in the game, and we closed it out whatever run we went on, 11-2 or whatever it was. Uh, I thought our kids really responded the last four minutes and, and really reflected our city of toughness, grit, you know, stay with it. They just kept staying with it tonight. And, and that's that's why we won. Yeah, we had. It's hard, you know. It's hard every night you look out there and you know you're you're trying to run offense with with the lack of a uh, experienced point guard. You're, you're asking freshmen to guard uh, Kendrick Nunn. Uh, you know they're growing up. You know they're growing up before our eyes. And and this year we'll all remember. You know we'll all remember the struggles when when, when we cut nets down here in Youngstown because we will do that. Uh, we're going to remember the struggle and, and the determination that we've had. And I think our kids the last couple games have been very very determined uh, to get over the hump. You know any any team could have could have folded. You know, we could have folded after the non-conference, but I kept saying, let's get into league play, let's get better, let's see what happens. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're starting to really hit our stride, which is nice. Talk about the emotion of that last play to flood the court. I mean, that hasn't, ha that hasn't happened at Beaver here for a little while. Oh, really? So, I mean, talk about this. Well, I, I'll, I'll take I'll take you through the last time out. I said, guys, let's go trap the first pass. They all looked at me like I was crazy, because uh, I because I'm I'm kind of a gambling guy. I like to play aggressive. I like to I want to have the last shot. So they're like, Cam looked at me. He's like, No, coach, I'm tired. 
you know, we're tired. Let's we'll sit down and get a stop. So they 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 made the decision not to trap the first pass, and we sat down. We got a stop, and I, I saw a couple weeks ago where the Cavs, the Ty, Tyron Lue ran a great play, ran a back screen, and then popped LeBron to the ball, and he made the game winner. Well, obviously we had to go the length of the court. I wanted to set that back screen to loosen up Braun or Cam going to the basket. And I said, let's just drive the ball. Tyree's going to run up, set a ball screen, and let's get downhill. Let's make the officials make a call. And Braun got it, bobbled a little bit, shot it. And when, when you see the kid's emotion, the entire bench running onto the court, that's what college athletics is about. That, that's what a team's about. Uh, that's what togetherness is about. And I just, I, I really um, admire uh, our kids not giving up here.